Hey groomers, Tyler here out of Colorado. Have another video about oiling. So I had a question today. How do I oil my blades after every dog without getting it on the dog? It's very simple. You need to have the right tools. And the right tool costs five bucks, maybe for a pack of them. You can get them on Amazon, any hobby store in the model section. They'll have these bottles or something very similar. Might look like this, but... So you want to oil after every dog. And what I put inside these bottles is the Andis oil. It works great. This is like $3 off Chewy or Amazon or Petco, PetSmart. It's cheap stuff. It's going to last you a long time too. Um, it's way cheaper than WD-40 or anything like that. And then you're not spraying chemicals around your dogs or whatever. So I'm going to show you how I oil a blade now. I'm going to try not to yell. So, let's pretend this is my dog and this is my blade. That's all dry now. So, what I do is I put a little dot. Boop, just a little dot. Just a little dot. Just a little dot, just a little dot. And then you wanna make sure you get it in the cutter, the cutter line there where the blade guide goes. This doesn't even touch the dog, so I don't have to worry about that one. Put it back. Slide it back and forth, go wee, and then you're all ready to go. Put it on your clipper while your clipper's running. Put it on. For some reason, I always just run my thumb over, but I think that's just a sharpening thing. And then let's find a nice patch here. Cuts gorgeous, beautiful. There's no oil in there. There's no oil. Let's check the dog. Is there any oil on that? No. No, it's fine. If you're really worried about it, while you're at the hobby store, buy some cheap fur, and before you test the dog, just run it right through the fur. That way all the excess oil will get on the, the fake fur. This stuff's cheap too. So that's how I do it. I hope this helps somebody.